Hi everybody, it's Nicola here and finally, for your pleasure, a glossy box. <sighs> yes, yes, I am probably the last person for the month of October to open their glossy box. Okay, so while I get into it, I will explain. So I paid on the first as normal, um, no issues with payments or anything like that and um, I know they don't normally ship till like the first week of the month and I was like okay and then I got an email on the 11th of October your glossy box is on its way it's been shipped so I waited and I waited and everybody else's glossy box videos on YouTube are going up, everybody's receiving theirs, some people are happy, some people are not happy, some people got their mermaid box they wanted, some people didn't get the mermaid box they wanted, or the unicorn box they wanted. <sighs> and I'm sat here going, I just want a box, just, just a box, nobody cares, but I had nothing, and I was like, I just want my box. Um, I messaged them, I left them a message, a post on their Facebook page, on Glossy Box Facebook page, that never got answered. Somebody else put on my post that they also had not had their Glossy Box yet. Um, and that they'd also not been acknowledged by Glossy Box Facebook uh, team. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to email them. I'm going to go onto their website, I'm going to find an email address and I, I'll email them. So I did. And they emailed me back the next day saying, okay, we're going to have a look into this for you. Uh, we're investigating Royal Mail. Because according to the Royal Mail tracking, Glossy Box hadn't even sent them my box for them to deliver it. So I was like, okay, well, that's fine, you're investigating Royal Mail, but I'm still sat here without a box. So I sent them back another m email saying all oh, fine and well but hello I'm still sat here without my box and it's it's almost time to pay for next month's box. So I got another email back from them saying we are deeply sorry and we will send your box out straight away, a replacement box out straight away. and. We're sending you some extra goodies just to say sorry. So I don't know if they're in this box. Or I don't even know if this is actually my box. Or whether this is just the complimentary gifts they've sent me. I'm not sure until I open it. So should we just get into it? Because I am sick and tired of waiting for glossy box. I was so excited for this month's box. Because it was either a unicorn box or a mermaid box. I really, really am hoping for a mermaid box. And to have waited almost three weeks for my box to arrive after paying for it, when everyone else has already had theirs, been and gone, I'm a little bit like, ah, what's the point anymore? So the excitement has kind of gone and it's just been replaced with this miserableness that is, everybody's boxes have already arrived. But shall we see? What I will do is I will open it up for you to see which box it is or what it is uh, first. So, oh. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> oh, this month couldn't get any worse with glossy box. I, I, I've been loving glossy box since I've been receiving them. And then I so hope for a mermaid box when I get the unicorn one. Anybody want to swap? <laughs> okay, so let's get this unicorn box out. So here it is. It is a beautiful box, I will admit. But I'm not a unicorn. I'm a mermaid! <laughs> um, let's get into it. So, there is the lid. And inside it does say... Be a unicorn in a field of horses, which I really do like that actually, I love that saying, that is beautiful. And it is a beautiful box, but I'm not a unicorn. So, let's get into this. 
So here we have our cards. Um, there is a limited edition coming soon. We have designed the ultimate beauty gift this Christmas, which is our take on an advent calendar. Housed in a reusable vanity case, you can personalise. It comes filled to the brim with over 20 beauty products, including three full-size makeup palettes. Be sure to get your hands on it first in an exclusive pre-sale for only 59.99, including shipping. Keep an eye on your inbox and glossybox.co.uk. That's not bad. It's uh, retailing at 60 but worth over £200, so that's just like a sneak peek of the limited edition advent calendar that's coming. It looks like there's a pixie eyeshadow palette and a sleek sort of face palette, you know, with a bronzer, blush and highlight. And it also looks like there's another like bronzer and highlight palette in there as well. A couple of uh, maybe eyebrow pencils and things like that, so that looks good actually. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, let's get into it. November sneak peek. If you don't want a sneak peek, look away now. You've probably seen all this anyway. Uh, every so often the perfect brush enters, or should we say sweeps into our lives and you'll find it in next month's box. This contour powder brush has incredibly soft, short bristles for seamless contouring, highlighting and blending so makeup becomes a second skin. And it looks like it's from Beauty UK. So that's a sneak peek for next month. So next month is my birthday month, so here's hoping out. But I'm once away on honeymoon, so it might be a little bit more of a saga with next month's box. So there's my unicorn sticker, and it says half unicorn, but I'm not a unicorn, I'm a mermaid. So there's that one. And then the paper inside is all beautiful pink and blue. So let's get in. It feels quite heavy actually. Ooh. Okay, it looks like there's no extras in here, so if I am getting any extra goodies, it's not in this box. So there we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to pick out is the Kawaii, Kawaii, yeah, um, egg scrub thing. Now this is, um, I already have one of these. Um, so I'm not too fussed about this, but I tell you who doesn't have one is my daughter. So rather than her pinching mine, so it's just this, it goes on your fingers like that and then you use it to clean your brushes on with these ridges here. So I don't know if my daughter's ever washed her brushes, um, so I can give her this to help her, help encourage her to keep her brushes clean so she can either have the new pink one or she can have my old one and I'll keep the pink one I don't mind really so yeah that will be a good little thing for us that'll go to my daughter it says uh, kawaii brush cleaning egg call is obsessive but clean brushes are what dreams are made of this silicone brush cleansing egg makes it easier than ever pop your two fingers inside the egg wet your brush and add a dash of gentle liquid soap I use um, Johnson's Top to Toe Wash uh, for babies. I find it really, really gentle on the brushes and I find them really, really soft once I finish them. Um, so yeah, that's what I use. Um, swirl your brush over the small nodules at the top to create a leather and then remove the foam and product buildup by running the bristles down the deeper grooves which will also realign the brush heads without without damaging them and it says the recommended retail price for that is $7.99 however if you have a look on eBay you can get these things for about 99p because that's where I got mine from 99p again $7.99 so yeah and by the looks of it this comes from either Japan or China anyway so might as well get it on eBay for 99 pence especially if you're not in the mad rush for it because it can take a couple of weeks to get to you but hey for 99p you're willing to wait a few weeks okay so the next item i'm actually looking forward to this this is the lord and berry magic brow eye pencil and i have it in the shade brunette so that's good for me um, the reason why I'm looking forward to this and seeing how this is, it's just a little pencil like this, is because I don't have many 
brow products. That feels quite stiff and hard. So that's the shade. It's quite a warm shade. Um, so I don't know how it's going to look in my eyebrows, but yep. Um, so yeah, I don't have many brow products, so I'm looking forward to trying this out. And it says Lord and Berry Magic Brow Perfect Eyebrow Pencil. Doesn't matter whether your makeup is bright and bold, muted or classic, brows hold a look together. Truly believe that nowadays. I never used to, but um, this highly pigmented brow pencil has a marbleized tip swirled with two complementary shades, so flat as all colourings by mimicking the colour variation naturally found in brows. Shape brows and then blend. And the recommended retail price for this is £14, and they say this is full size. Although someone, I can't remember who, said they've had one of these before and it came with a spoolie on the end. <coughs> And that's what the full size one actually looks like. So I don't know what glossy box you're playing at, but yeah, um, I will give that a try. I do prefer powders in my eyebrows and then a gel. Um, and I do have the archery pencil from Soap and Glory, which I do like, which is more like a crayon rather than a pencil as such. Um, but yeah, I will definitely, definitely be giving that a try. Okay, the next thing is this Bang Beauty, and this is a cream colour. Multi-purpose cream can be used on your lips, cheeks and eyes, making for the perfect eyeshadow, blush or highlighter, this little shiny pot here. And it says apply using the tips of your fingers or a brush, blending for a smooth natural finish. To use it is to love it, plus it's vegan and cruelty free. And this is full size and recommended retail price of £19.50. Now when I saw everybody else's box openings, hello fly, go away. Um, I know a lot of people were like, mm, okay, um, mainly because there is another blush product in here. Um, which, oh do you like my lipstick? Lightning there. Do you recognise it? Oh, stunning, absolutely stunning colour. Um, it is the lipstick that I got in our swap box, uh, for those of you who are not aware. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. But I think this is a beautiful little pot. Um, nice cream. Like that there. Ooh. Very shimmery colour. I wouldn't use it as a blush. But I might use it as a highlighter, like a cream highlighter. Or a lip topper. Could go as a lip balm, you know, when you're not using any colour, but you want to give it a bit of shimmer. It's a nice little pot, really pretty, and uh, really snazzy. Um, so, yeah, okay, I'll give that a go. The next item in here is this now i was concerned when they said there was a sleek blush because i've already got two however this one oh, oh, oh moly, holy moly i've just seen the shade of it um i'm going to end up ripping this box i can tell i'm a little bit concerned about getting a sleek blush in my box because i already have a couple of sleek blushes however um once i saw again other people's box openings um i realized i wasn't going to have this one and i'm right this crimson this is going to be a strong color isn't it so it's a beautiful packaging really really nice um and this is a cream to powder Whoa! holy moly mother of god look at that shade wow How the hell am I supposed to? I hope you blend out. Well, it does blend out, but it <laughs> blends out really deeply. Oh my goodness, glossy box. This would be great for somebody with darker skin, but I'm I'm not dark skinned. Oh my goodness. I think I prefer this one. 
Um, so, yeah, um, I've got a red finger now. Look, it's all stained now. Um, no concerns or worries there that I already have that colour because I don't. Um, but yeah, that's a bit of a, a disappointment in that it's so dark for me. It says, cream to powder blush, uplifting shade of blush always has the ability to put a smile on our faces, not when it's the wrong shade. Uh, and I love blushes. This innovative cream to powder blush is intensely pigmented. Really? Um, it has a natural dewy finish. And each glossy will get one of six flattering hues. Apply to cheeks and as you blend it will magically transform into a light powder, giving cheeks a pretty pop of colour that lasts all day. Pop of colour? <laughs> I'm going to look like Sally from, um, oh, where's all gummage, if I wear that. Um, glossy bog isn't turning out to be as good as I was hoping it would be. Okay, let's see if the final item can save the day. So, this palette, a lot of people are complaining about this palette because it is a cheap palette. But I've actually been after this palette for a long, long time. Um, just never justified to myself buying it, even though it was cheap. I'm trying to get it out. Can you hear all the bubbles popping? And it is this one. It is the Mermaids vs Unicorns palette. Of course, what other type of palette are you going to put in a mermaid or unicorn box? And it's by Makeup Revolution. So, so this is the Mermaid vs Unicorn palette. And oh, you get your sponge applicator, which barely anybody uses. And then you have all these beautiful shades. I'm gonna have to swatch these on my other hand. Holy moly, mother of goodness. So those are three of the shades. Look at these two specifically. This one is a little bit pastely. Um, but very, very glittery. Um, but look at that shade and that one. That is gorgeous. Definitely could do an eye look using that and be a mermaid <laughs> but loving that pigmentation I am a massive fan of Makeup Revolution anyway most of my palettes are Makeup Revolution so I am not too fussed about that and as I say I have been looking at this palette previously before and just never picked it up kept looking but never picked it up um, mainly because of the colour combination I love these colours, but I just can't see myself using them very often. Um, except for like Halloween or fancy dress or things like that. But actually, you know what? Some of these colours are really, really pretty. And I think with the right sort of way, you might be able to wear these like as a pop of colour. Um, like under your eye or something like that for a you know, normal day look. So... Yeah, very happy with that. So, um, all in all, this box, was it worth waiting for? Well, I kind of wanted the mermaid box. Um, but I guess I'll have to stick with the unicorn one unless one of my subscribers has the mermaid box and wants the unicorn one, I will happily swap. Um, the palette is a great hit, absolutely love those colours, absolutely beautiful. Um, this Bang Beauty um, highlighter, I can't, I just can't get over that blush. Um, the highlighter, I probably will use it as like a, a cream highlighter, I really like that. The egg is going to go for my daughter so she can clean her brushes. And the eye pencil definitely want to give that a go. 
I think the only real, real disappointment is the blush, and only because of the shade. I think, um, I think the packaging is beautiful, and I love sleek products. I really, really do. But that shade is just so not my colour. Um, really and honestly, I, I will look like I have a temperature if I put this on my cheeks so um, yeah I think um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you but yeah so that's really the only disappointment and the fact that I've got the unicorn box and not the mermaid box but what can you do it was I wish we could have told them which box we wanted and then they would send out that box um, I think that would have been much better. I mean, one email and a little mini survey, do you know what I mean? And it would have been so much easier. But that is it. That is my glossy box. Finally, once and for all. Was it worth waiting for? Huh. <laughs> um, yes. But I would have been much more excited had I have got my box at the same time as everybody else. So the moral to the story is, if your box hasn't arrived within three to five days of you of you getting the email to say that it's on its way, email Glossy Box directly and they will get onto it much quicker than if you try to go through Facebook. On Facebook, they couldn't care less. They don't answer you. Um, by email yes they do so that's the moral to my story I'm looking forward to the November box with the brush um, always like a good new brush to try um, there may be difficulties with that because it depends on when it gets delivered I might not be here to receive it so my glossy box for November might be late video as well so I will have to wait and see what happens all right then everybody thank you very much for watching if you like this video give it a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you very soon bye